What is going on guys? It's Greg back with the Super 6 and man, it has been a minute since I shot a video. Uh, man, sorry to keep you guys uh, waiting so long uh, with the demands of going back to work and uh, virtual teaching. It's been uh, taking up all my time. Plus, we hadn't had the greatest weather uh, in the last few months with winter and everything. So, I uh, finally got a beautiful day here in Georgia. It's up to about 72 degrees. And, you know, what better time than to uh, get out and catch up on a video and just give you guys a couple of updates on what's going on with the charger. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, get to those updates. I actually had a viewer to ask me about uh, brakes and uh, should you upgrade your brakes when you supercharge or do you really need to? Uh, my answer to that uh, would be yes and no. Uh, yes, eventually, and no, not right away. Now, based on my experience that I've had, um, I obviously haven't upgraded my brakes. These are still the stock brakes on there. Uh, it's actually been doing really good. Uh, these are actually some really good brakes, these stock brakes. I've had my car supercharged for a couple of years now, maybe a little longer. And those these brakes have been doing fine. Now, there have been a couple of times where um, I was up to speed after really pouring on some power and had to slow down or stop. Uh, abruptly and you do notice a difference that you need bigger brakes with the extra power but you know 85 90 percent of the time you're doing normal driving uh it you know it's it's no big deal and these brakes have actually done, been doing really good i mean uh, i still got plenty of room on the brake pad i have 93,000 miles original miles on the car these are the original pads and, and rotors and uh calipers on the car and there's no squealing or squeaking. You know, there's no hardly any brake dust on them. So they, they actually are really good for, for what Dodge intend them, intend for them to be for, you know, with these, uh, with these cars. But you will need with the extra power. And unless you're going to be doing a lot of driving fast, you know, and, and trust me, you're going to want to flex that, that muscle, that power. But you're not going to be driving like that all the time. But yes, if you're going to be if you are going to be doing a lot of that, then I would say, yeah, man, go ahead and and go ahead and, and, and upgrade your brakes. Even before you supercharge, go ahead and do that if you know you're going to be doing um, a lot of uh, a lot of driving like that, fast driving. So, uh, but like I said, man, yes, eventually, no, based on my experience, I didn't have to right away. But uh, look what came in the mail, ironically. <laughs> I've always known that I was going to, even though I didn't, um, planned on upgrading my brakes right away. I always knew that I wanted to get the bigger brakes or some better brakes on them. And um, I went ahead and ordered them. I've had these in the garage, I guess for a, about a month. So I'm actually going and put these on, have these put on uh, this weekend. These are the Power Stop Evolution brakes. And uh, they got a lot of really good reviews, man. These got top notch reviews. Uh, for brakes uh, online. So that's one of the reasons why I went with Power Stop. Of course, uh, there are some guys who upgraded to uh, Brembo's and Dodge now offers Brembo's on their GT. So uh, Brembo's to upgrade, you know, is very, very pricey. <laughs> so this is a great deal, a great value and quality based on what I read online. So uh, these came from uh, Auto Anything online, so they actually had a really good deal on them for the whole kit, front and, and rear. Uh, these are uh, the ones for the rear, and they're going to come with, you know, a set of uh, carbon fiber ceramic brake pads. So you're going to get some really good brake pads and a set of rotors. I went ahead and got drilled and slotted for the front and the rear. Really nice, real nice rotors, man. Uh, nice machine surface there. So I really can't wait to put those on. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do them myself. I've never actually never done brakes before. Uh, so, but based on YouTube, some YouTube videos and a friend of mine who actually put some brakes on his Toyota Tundra. He says it's nothing to it. It's really easy, uh, simple, I should say. Uh, but I may just as well take them in and, and you know, have them put on just to uh, save myself some time. 
But if I do decide to install them myself, I'll just, I'll shoot a video on it. Uh, the front ones also come with a set of brake pads. And the front ones are also drilled and slotted. And let me see, I got this one open here. Man, just some real nice rollers, man. Nice machine surface. Uh, these are also vented for the front. Real nice quality, man. And the power stop is uh, the way to go. So I uh, can't wait to get those on. So whether or not I put them on myself or take them in, uh, you know, I'll shoot a little video on it. So uh, also, I uh, just kind of want to do, um, show you guys a couple of other things for the car. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the car out and show you guys a couple of other things that I have going on. All right, guys. So uh, I pulled the car out. I want to kind of show you what I did on the, on the rear. Um, I went ahead and put the wicker bill. Finally got a wicker bill put on it. And I, something I had been wanting to do, I had been, you know, contemplating, you know, debating over whether or not to do it. And I actually love it. Uh, the last video I shot, uh, I had the wicker bill on there when I was talking about uh, uh, Jeff's white uh, Challenger, uh, but I just hadn't shown it yet. <laughs> but it actually looks really good, man. It adds more aggression to the back. Uh, it's the one piece uh, wicker bill. I actually really don't care much for that uh, clear centerpiece. Uh, and it was really simple to put on. It came actually with, uh, with the kit, with the rivet tool kit. Uh, let me show you what that looks like. Came with the rivets and uh, and the rivet tool. So when you order these, I got these from, I think I got this wicker bill from, it says PS Designs? Yeah, yeah, PS Designs. Um, and you know, very nice quality, man. Uh, simple and easy to put on. They're gonna send you this tool with it and the rivets. It works with your drill or your ratchet. So you just put your uh, put this on the end of your ratchet and then the rivet goes here and then you just stick it inside the holes that you drill and it works pretty pretty good. So um, you didn't, I didn't have to go out and buy an expensive rivet tool and I didn't have to uh, include it you know, if I would have gone with another, uh, with another brand, because sometimes you know that with the other brands you can, I think like with uh, ZL1 add-ons you can add, you have to add on the uh, rivet tool and I think that thing is extra. So, but anyway, I just got one price with the uh, rivet tool included. So uh, yeah, it looks really, really aggressive in the back. I love it. Real aggressive. It took me about maybe an hour and 10 or 15 minutes to put it on once I drilled the holes, lined it up, and I'm really, really pleased with it. Let me give you all a little start while I'm back here. Get this big. Good. Just give you a little start. inside the car. Okay. All right, so um, I actually am using this dash cam now. Um, my daughter so thoughtfully got me this dash cam for Christmas and uh, I had no idea. So she really, something that she really wanted to get for me. 
And I never actually even considered uh, getting a dash cam before. Uh, but now that I've had it, I'm so actually really glad that uh, that I have it. It's really a good thing to have. And uh, this is a really nice dash cam. This is the Toe Guard uh, dash cam. It's got a dual lens on it, so you got a forward-facing lens and one in the rear. You can actually adjust this one. This one turns if you want to have both lenses facing forward, uh, and it gives you uh, a double view here. So if I turn it on. If I can get it to turn it on. It's a really nice quality camera. This camera actually got some good reviews online. There's some, also some videos on this camera uh, that you can get online that show you all the features. I actually love it. Uh, it runs off of a uh, US, not a USB, a uh, SD card, of one of those small SD cards, and it loop records. So when that card actually fills up, and it's going to give you a lot of video, a lot of video. So when that SD card fills up, it'll just loop record. So you always have footage when you need it. If something was to occur uh, in your footage, um, you can give, get access to it if you need it. Otherwise, it just records. You know, what, you know, whatever you're driving, you know, it, it just records. I actually like to go in and look at. Look at some of the video, you know, just as, as, uh, as I'm driving. You can use this as a regular camera, video camera. So uh, I may try to do that, you know, once. But I actually really love it. Really, really, surprisingly, a really nice quality video. Once you hook it up to your computer, it comes with a full kit. You can hook it up to your computer. And um, it really has some nice video quality on it. But it's a good thing to have in case something uh, occurs while you're driving, you know, if you get stopped or it's an accident, uh, you know, you don't even have to be in the accident to use the footage, so uh, stupid stuff that other drivers do, you got footage of it, so, um, really, really good stuff, really good. Um, so, uh, the other than that, you know, everything's uh, good on the, on the Super 6. Um, got some other stuff coming to the car. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the throttle body. I'm going to do the 80 millimeter throttle body, so I already got that coming. Um, I'll probably end up installing that myself. You know, I'll do a video on it. You know, start adding a little power uh, to it, a little bit more power to the Super 6. So, uh, but that's pretty much it, man. You know, everything is going pretty good. Loving the car. Um, and uh, you know we'll, we'll we'll see what what goes on with it. I do eventually want to do consider maybe some uh, high flow cats, and um, I don't know if I really haven't seen any videos of anybody doing high flow cats on the three six. Um, I know I I think Lucky did. I'm not quite sure, and I did ask uh, Wolf if I think he's considering doing it too. Uh, but you know I, I I would like to actually make that my next move as well. So, but that's it, guys, man. Thank you guys so much for uh, for rocking with me and hanging in there. I appreciate you. And uh, look forward for the next video. And uh, I'll get at you guys later. Peace.